Hi guys, it's Starkman coming at you with another episode of Total Warhammer. And we're here, Mr. Ian Kempadesh, and trying to defend against Manfred von Karstein. And let me tell you, I don't think it's going to go great, but you know, that's what we're here for. I realistically don't see any path to victory here, uh, just because they have the, the Magic Cavalry, that's going to match up well. The Grave Guard could probably take out any two units of mine and still be alive. And uh, this monstrous infantry as well. It's just going to be a headache. And add to that Manfred von Karstein. He's like level 15 now. So it, it's going to be a serious uh, problem. He's going to be able to be healing people. Acting as vampires do. And, and I don't have anywhere to fight to protect me from a cavalry charge. Because the water is, I believe, more of a small unit thing. Well, we can uh, go here and attempt to fight inside of the woods somewhat, and that'll have to be the best choice. Now, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to eliminate any units at all. That's just because, uh, well... They're all going to be falling on us soon. Uh, well, with the healing possibilities, uh, I just uh, I feel like our force is going to fall apart quite quickly here. But you know, we can dream, and uh, and might be able to pull something out. But I wouldn't hold my breath. So we've got our two anti-large units charging in. That means these hex wraiths are going to be tanking in the flank. Uh, they're obstructed, though. We need to go ahead and start firing. I need to get everybody on these Grave Guard. Should have been trying to get them earlier. But again, I, uh, I didn't really begin this under the delusion that I was going to be able to win. Yeah, look at that. There's two anti-large units here on these hex wraiths, and they're still uh, basically taking the fight. I, uh, I didn't do a great job with isolating any target, and it looks like because of that we're not really going to get anything done here. I basically wasted the possibility that I had to focus any fire. I should have just picked out a group of zombies or swordsmen for my uh, crossbowmen to shoot in retrospect, but that's not what I did. And you see that uh, we didn't have a chance in hell of dealing with that army. And that's a little obnoxious, but, you know, we're in their home territory, and I uh, just wasn't able to be in a spot to protect that. I'm about to have that third army, which will be reinforcing, so that's going to be a pleasant change. But yeah, he's able to go and attack Eshin and then come right back. But he didn't take it over, so at least there's that. And we can actually get Whistleland to uh, join our confederation right now. Uh... They'll do it next turn, too, I'm sure. But I just need to see if that would put me in a bad spot. So we're going to have two rebellions in a turn, which is awful, of course. I was like, no, I didn't end up doing that third army. I remember now. Well, I just don't know how well I'm going to be able to prosecute this war. The only thing to do is start the siege now. Gelt's army is sort of injured. Franz is in worse shape. Man, I don't know if I can do this. I could try to attack Drakenhof with you know, seriously injured people. I feel like maybe... No, because I have two rebellions immediately happening. Shit. I, I just, uh... 
really no idea what to do. But that's not a great content as me sitting around and just uh, aimlessly thinking about where it all went wrong. Now, I could grab that uh, confederation. However, that would make uh, this here in danger. Uh, the province of Stirland in public order danger. It's not great. But it would give me... Well, really just two more provinces. But I would get the Nolna Cannon Foundry, which gives me uh, cheaper artillery and better artillery experience. It also gives you access to this special building. Uh, it would be basically fine to defend. Of course, I seeded these uh, over in the past to rebels, but I'm almost tempted to let Eschen and Waldenhof just fall, but I don't think I should do that and just have Castle Templehof as a place to fall back to, which can definitely defend itself. Uh, but But we failed to kill Manfred. It was worth a shot. I trust no man. No heretics will get in my way. Move! I am the Supreme Patriarch. Yeah, this is. I don't know if I can really take this fight. I just don't know. I have limited artillery. Limited melee. I don't have that much range to just like power through it. We'll take a couple of losses just uh, from towers. Man, I hate this. We can't protect the land that we have. We can't push forward and win the war. But I don't know if peace is what I want either. Man. No peace, just war. Does Franz your dad come Welcome, friends of the Dowie. <laughs> they don't want to join the war against the vampires. It was worth a shot. Now I think... I could sue for peace, take Schwarzhaven, and try to deal with the corruption a little bit. But... That feels bad. It feels slow. But if I can't take Draken off, what am I supposed to do? I could just get peace, uh, seed over Nuln. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Took me, what, 100 minutes to figure that out? I can't make my way to short saving yet. And if we can deal with the corruption, that's going to make it easier. I hate doing that, but I just, I can't win the war right now. And if you can't win, you, uh, you're you not supposed to do it, right? Like I'm not a, not a good enough player, I didn't have a strong enough army to take Draken off, so now I have to just let him rebuild, which I fucking I hate too. And this should... No, we're probably not even going to be able to get a short save in next turn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, you know, that's what happens when you suck at the game. 
I, uh, I pushed out just a little too much and I didn't have, I needed like a third army. I wasn't prepared for the public order penalties of the corruption, just, just really considerable. Yeah, negative 13 a turn. I, uh, yeah, I really, really botched that one. Now we've got Gunther here and we've got, you know, just one choice really. Do we try to go up on Crusade again? and potentially mess up or not. But what I think we're gonna do... is just, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull this confederate here. We get Wissenland. That absolutely crunches our, uh, our money into nothing. How? How did it take that much money away? Oh, I have this army right here. That is how it took that much money away. Man, I didn't realize he had that other one. If I did, well, if I did. But we're going to go ahead and ditch this guy. Yeah, he's, he's just going to cost us a ton of money to keep him around. And that'll at least get us somewhat back into the positives. Wissenberg has another possible economic building, but... Yeah, I'd hate to break any of those things down to get to it. But if Fildorf here uh, falls, I'll just be able to go and move in and take that. But we're going to be in the middle of a ridiculous transition period now where we're trying to lock down the Sylvanian provinces in expectation of going to war with them again and five to ten turns but unfortunately I moved to uh, Eschen rather than Waldenhof so yeah we're gonna have to fight here again against a force that's basically the same as the other one that we fought just last video however with a couple more bats and they're a bunch of elites here so probably gonna lose and this war has been very expensive and not at all getting me what I wanted I've been in the mire here. <laughs> We're just going to let them come here at us and we will see how it goes. Same basic strategy as the last time, but I don't think that their uh, their bats are going to be fooled into moving forward, and that means that we're going to be in just a really, really bad spot. We are able to get a few shots at the bats off now, and they're not going to be able to reposition that well. We're going to be able to maybe kill one if he just stays there, but it looks like he's just going to hang back in preparation for this uh, potential flanking maneuver. So we're going to be screwed. What we're really doing is just trying to make sure that we don't uh, pull our crossbowmen out of this nice little wooded area that we're trying to defend here. However, we're able to take out one of the groups of bats, and that's nice enough. And now... I do want to try and finish it up there. They're crumbling, but you really do want to help that along. You don't want to take the risk of the uh, the leader coming up and getting the heal off on them. And now we're just going to take some more shots at these groups of bats because, well, they're letting us get away with that, so why wouldn't we? Because it's not going to be that easy here in a second when they're going to be able to be securing some flanking attacks on us. But we're taking out half of the bats already. 
and for free. But now the battle is about to begin in earnest. However, of course, we've already taken out almost all of these bats. These spearmen on this flank will have to uh, fight here. And we're going to be uh, double marching the crossbowmen over to this side. Hopefully not running into the zombies. And we're just going to be carrying along these spearmen to screen for us. Uh, we know those uh, crossbowmen are going to be the target of the bats, so we're just going to keep that... Uh, that unit there to be able to fire at them. And now we're just gonna wheel around real quick and begin firing into the skeletons here. Which is gonna make me feel pretty decent, but of course they, uh, they're they now casting heals. They now are winning every melee fight. And the fact that I'm able to fire in with one of these units, it's just not gonna be good enough. And now yet another group of bats is down, but if the spearmen can tie up both of them, we'll be okay. There's no guarantee of that at all. But we do have... Yep, yeah, we're doing all right. We've got uh, Crumbling on both of those Fellback groups. And now both of our uh, Crossbowman sets... Come on, guys. Start shooting. Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. Are about to begin firing. Hopefully not into those Fellbats that are in the wood. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and move forward into the flank here. I don't think those fell bats are going to be too much of a trouble for me, but actually there's still 26 of them in that group. Still my spearmen are engaged, so feeling all right about it. However, a lot of them are getting away, and they are going to be able to fall on my crossbow in the rear, I think, so feels bad. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. But this withering crossbow and fire from the group on the front here is able to put a serious dent on both of their infantry sides, but I just I don't know if it's going to be enough. However, we're still at about a third, uh, two-thirds strength. Yeah, thereabouts. And that is okay. These spearmen are earning their pay, charging here and there, to and fro on the battlefield. And of course, this crossbowman is almost out of ammo. This other one has more left, however. And some of them are able to shoot while the other ones engage in the melee. And through all of it, the withering fire of these crossbowmen here on the flank. If you can get your ranged fire in on the side of your enemy, and they can't do much to harass it, as you see here, even one ranged unit can make an absolute mockery of your unit's lines. Just like these uh, spearmen are being made a mockery of by the fell bats who charge absolutely everywhere. But right now, I think we're just going to see the uh, the failure of the uh, the map. The skeleton warrior is getting healed up, but these uh, it's just that that lord, he's still up, you know? I know, you know, you're here. And uh, what can I do about that? Very little or nothing. The bat harass is being fairly successful. We've got basically no ability to fire. We got obstructions going on, but I'm going to try and... Uh, retreat my infantry uh, away from Yep, there we go away from my uh, Missile troops, so hopefully they're gonna be able To fire into Talbert from behind here as we're just running away I feel like that's probably my only chance to output some good damage onto him Come on shoot him guys. I don't care if you're exhausted get with the program Yeah, we're, we're, we're barely hitting him at all, it seems like, but I don't need all of my army to crumble. It's very important that they do not. Because if he can make some of us flee, then everybody else might follow suit immediately afterward. I should have tried to wrap up these skeleton warriors, but now they're in the wood, and uh, it's going to be harder for my crossbowmen to deal with them. He's so fast relative to my guys, and he's just uh, he's a whole lot better at this than I am right now. 
but we're going to wheel with these crossbowmen and try to take down uh, these skeleton warriors and hope that that'll be able to uh, to put a dent into the aspirations of these rebels. But what we're seeing right now is just uh, their leader is crushing through everyone, just making an absolute mockery of my uh, my troops here. And their troops are crumbling, but that's not going to help too much. We have just a few more uh, shots, but that falls. We need these crossbowmen to live so that they can shoot into uh, the enemy leader. The skeleton warriors' morale is in a terrible spot. They are dying, but again, I... Uh, all right, there they go. They absolutely get destroyed. But now, it's my forces against their general. who is terrifying strong and my men are not terrifying and strong they're not really able to get a shot on them but all we can do now is hope that uh that this is going to work but i don't think it is i think we're going to lose we're all going to run away Yeah, look at him. He's a uh, he's at full hit points there. After a ten point battle where he'd been engaged the whole time, he hadn't taken any damage at all. We kill his entire army except for him. Man, I bit off more than I could chew with this vampire war. These vampire lands are garbage. Oh, mighty lord. But I got a bunch of money from completing a quest, so that's good. Ostermark gets knocked out. We get raised. We're going to have a rebellion next turn in Templehof. And my only thought is, I should take Schwarzhaven. And what we're seeing here is sort of a, uh, a classic study in this game, which is you can overextend and you may not know it when you're doing it, but when it comes time, what is your choice going to be? You know, uh, how are you going to deal with how stupid you are? Are you going to dig in more like I'm doing? Are you going to cut and run, which might be a better choice? Uh, are you going to try to secure some... Uh, Some nice packs. It's like if I could get a couple Man trade agreements, cool. I would feel better. There we go. You may sp the empire. You you get some access with Bretonia, maybe. Nope. What does the emperor need? Do not greet me. Now, the problem I have is that. We're going to have a rebellion next turn. That's not really a problem. We can deal with that because France is right here. But I don't think... Yeah, we're making no progress on corruption. And there's 15 corruption happening here. Well, because of Drakenhof and uh, and Manfred. So really a huge headache to try to deal with. Do I try to push more characters over here, here to deal with the corruption? Uh, these are questions. I think here I'm just gonna, well, I'm not gonna build anything because I'm broke, but try to build that uh, public order building next turn. And I mean, the good thing is that I have neutered the power of the vampire. 
Empire accounts. I want a Drakenhof. I need a Drakenhof because I wanted to, you know, make good money. And, uh, which is the whole purpose for the war, was to commit armed robbery, and I was looking forward to it. He's gonna want to come up here and take Essen. I am inclined to not even let him. But it's sort of a pricey thing to do. Man, negative 16 a turn. Absolutely brutal what we're dealing with here, but... You know, that's, uh, that's part of the game, is how difficult it is to move into certain other regions. When you have chaos corruption up north, when you have vampire corruption here, when you have snow attrition uh, in the wastes, it just makes things a lot harder. But these rebels are going to be easy enough to deal with, of course, as we have our our decidedly uh, low to medium tier army here with France. And that's another problem I have is I don't have a top tier army yet. I really need to get one. I need to be running around with Demigriff Knights. I need to have tanks. I don't have the money. I'm either spread too thin or I'm spread too thin. But yeah, I mean, what we're going to do here is just going to be sort of bog-standard uh, mixed-unit tactics. It should be enough to get the Pegasus for uh, Franz, if we're lucky. And I'm just going to target the Vargeist because that is what this hammer is for. It is to absolutely murder large units look at that i mean just can you imagine if you took uh, this army in and you just see the first salvo of uh of artillery come in and half of your units dead feels bad but where's the next shot we're looking for the next shot and then i want to switch it up and target another unit but we're still waiting for that reload i thought i heard the report of cannons there we go boom magnificent And there we go, the Hammer of the Witch is connecting in an absolutely big way there. And those Vargais, not going to be huge problems for us for much longer. Now our Free Company Witch is getting charged, but that's not the worst thing that could happen. We really don't mind that too much. They're tough. They're strong. We believe in them. What I do mind is this uh, Black Knight charge that's going to be coming in behind. That's not perfect. But to forestall that, we're going to go ahead and charge in. We're going to have uh, flanking missile fire. It's going to go fine. These Var guys are probably going to try to come in and fall upon my uh, relatively undefended artillery. But they're not that undefended because we have a bunch of range that can just spin right around and put a hurt on. That Vargas, that lone Vargas comes in and tries to assassinate Franz. Outrageous behavior. And we're going to cast a debilitating spell on that vampire uh, lord. And then we are going to go off to the races. We're seeing all of our foes crumble, and they're uh, they're putting a little bit of damage onto all our, our artillery. But you know we're mostly done with uh, the need for them anyway. 
and the enemy lord dies, that's going to send a shockwave of terror through the enemy units, and now they are all gone. try to build up a little bit I'll be able to build three or four more new economy buildings and then and then what try to support another army try to improve the army that I have I've got uh, good recruiting buildings quite close by I can build demigriffs here at Birdbod and uh, have to go well, I can't build tanks anywhere can I know it's very expensive and I don't have the money to support it because I'm bad I still kind of want to go up to ice pack bay and fight but I also know that I can't really leave the heartland undefended we're just going to go on a little tour Evan von Leibowitz, we're gonna make him. Oh, that's what I can do. The Arch Lecter title will give a uh, big public order and uh, local province and also reduction in corruption. So that is gonna help a lot. What does the Emperor bid? Good job, Arch Lecter. We'll take that job away from him someday, I'm sure. But in the, in the short time, this is going to help tamp down on corruption eventually. And I think once you get under 50%, then you don't have to worry about uh, taking movement attrition because it really sucks when you can't even go through your own lands without being hurt. We're going to get a Pegasus for France. That's going to be huge. Uh, being able to fly onto the walls is basically the key to success. Uh, for sieges, as far as I can tell. Now, one thing I will do, though, is uh, commit provocative acts against uh, our foes. I'm just going to try to... Ha! Huh, I don't have enough money to. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. Where did I put all the money at? But I really have to spend it there. Next turn, I will use the uh, the Witch Hunter to try to kill somebody. And now the rebellion went outside the other city, didn't it? Son of a whore. That's exactly what happened. They went to Eshin instead. Man, what a fucking headache. There's a rebellion every turn or two. They keep raising stuff. I can't fucking... Oh, man. Can't believe this shit. They keep running through my lands trying to corrupt my stuff. I don't care. I'm about to piss them off. I should go in and start raiding their damn land or something. Just because fuck them, that's why. But we're going to take the corruption reduction. Do I have that option here? No. So I move to take Eshin, then it just, what, it happens again? But if I don't... If I don't, then 
and Von Karstein takes it, which is also not acceptable. But if I have both of the units here, man, what a fucking headache. Here, now, finally, with three armies, I might be able to lock down one of my regions. And just as I drive away a little bit, I remember there's a Norska guy. Do I have freedom of movement? It's late in the day for the Empire to send its ambassadors to my... Maybe if I give him a little bit of money? I'll have your will, and I'll have it now. I'm like, I'm broke, man. I just want to fight this dude. He does not want me to fight him. It's going to be so long until I start getting more money. fucking broke and none of my stuff's even that good I just have four armies without that many good regions so we're only getting about 1500 from some of these places and nothing from some of the others but we are going to be able to build a couple more econ buildings soon That'll push us up. I mean, if I was a better player, I would have just been able to take Castle Dragon off and we would have been fine, but I'm not. And I wanted to play it safe. And the consequences of that, I guess, are logical enough. But... If I was truly playing it safe, I would have been doing more of what I'm doing here, which is, you know, uh, building up the public order in these provinces before I tried to move out, trying to go for a slower war. I was just trying to totally bleedscreak it down uh, in honor of the Reichsmark, but not able to you do it. it. They're suing for a peace treaty. Can I make them pay me? Can I make them pay me more? 1500? Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not actually afraid of them, and I might wanna fight them. I got an order to attempt an assassination against uh, Valley Graven here. But I don't know if I wanna take advantage of it. Our Confederation Public Order penalty is done. So that, at least, is going to be good. I forgot I was also dealing with that on top of uh, the corruption problems. So it's going to be not easy, but easier for us now to get what we have to get done. In just a few turns, we're going to have the economy chugging again. But that's basically only going to allow us to support this arch lector but we're also dealing with the corruption somewhat in the lands we're uh it's like i keep on not having enough money to uh, attempt murder feels bad uh but you know even an assassin has to deal with economic pressures i guess Brave news, my lord. Ah, oh, son of a Word bitch. spreading across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. The All right, so I have a problem. Are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. I have a big problem. Now chaos is here, and uh, and I'm not really ready for it. I couldn't beat a chaos army right now.
I can't believe this orc has done this well. I've never played in like my mini games of losing in Warhammer where this orc actually managed to take and hold land up here. Ask your favor, and I will check with it. Now chaos coming out means that it's easier to make alliances with some people, but it's also a lot harder uh, to stay alive for yourself. Attempt some murder real quick here. We're gonna try to kill a banshee. We kill a banshee. Feels great. And I just like straight up don't care that I'm committing acts of war right now. That's not my problem. I'm just a dude. I mean, I, uh, again, we just had a war. I don't think we're stuck under a uh, peace treaty with them. I don't know though. That's going to give us a nice boost uh, to growth here. Now uh, Todd Brigger is going to be responsible for like 60. Uh, growth of turn, so that's going to allow us to uh, get that really great port of Marienburg just a little bit earlier. Now, the issue is, of course, the same as it has always been. I'm too poor for this. Taking Grinstot won't help. Taking Fidorf, however, would help. It's going to, however, really mess with my ability to knock down corruption, won't it? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Bring me to my men. What does the Emperor bid? Still, if I can get to Fidorf in just a couple turns, we'll be all right. Of Sigma. Oh, haha. <laughs> Kara Kern is killing Averheim. Talk to you, the grand... They're about to have a bad time. This is going to give me the opportunity, though, to take uh, Fildorf and uh, and lock down Visenland. Do I need... Do I need an armory and a barracks in this territory at all? You know, I don't think I do. It's going to get us some money. Because I've got a setup here in Sterling and a setup here in Reichland. I don't think I'm going to need to recruit right here. I hope I won't. We're gonna try and move up on Crusade at least one more time and see if anything bad happens to us. Wow, this video's been going on for quite a little bit. Probably gonna end it here soon. Not very action-packed, lots of me sitting around and musing, but I, uh, I also don't really feel like anyone's watching it, so it's okay. Oh no, where is my, uh, my witch hunter? Ah, here he is. Now I am finally making some sort of decent money here uh, that I've got all of these new economic buildings kicking.
The issue is it might have been too late and too clumsy. It's just no way to really know. I need to use my next turn, build a couple public order buildings in some places. No, I feel like it'll be good. We're about to get access to a bunch of trade goods. We're about to get access to, uh, to still more economic buildings, so... Yes, a sound plan. I'm going to push the public order, take the building there. No, we'll, we'll wait on that, actually. I'm sure I have something nice to build somewhere else that could help me more, like a public order, order builder here in Schwarzhaven, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> Do I want to split a spot on that? Or No, there's two buildings I need there, damn. I continue my plan to absolutely murder all of the vampire heroes. So we get an actual assassination, one that straight up kills somebody. Feels good. And he is going to go ahead and take another reduction in chaos. He has a lot of chaos reduction now. Just plus four. That's just barely enough to start outstripping Manfred's. But of course, we only need to get it to 50%. That would be enough for us. try to prosecute an engagement with this guy, but they keep on trying to run away from me. It's pretty obnoxious. Do we take Volley Fire now? I think we do. It's a really good spell or uh, tech uh, skill, and I probably should have taken it even earlier than I did. Now we've got Chaos Corruption ticking everywhere because of uh, those Jack Wagons up north. And that's going to make things difficult for me as well. Hooray! And of course, now we've got Chaos Warriors running around. They're going to be trying to uh, manipulate all of my stuff. They're going to be trying to kill my heroes and damage my buildings and walls and make my population upset. Bunch of jerks. But, Averland just got murked. So... Yep. We're going to pay the 1,000 for a 5 uh, public order boost, and we're going to swoop in and take Averheim and Grenstadt real quick. And we're just going to complete the lands of the South takeover. I'm going to take this tap room. No, no, I want to, but I shouldn't. We do get the training action uh, finally in Geltz Army, so that is going to feel great. We're going to start finally getting some free experience. Yeah, I think I'm on a wild goose chase, and then by the time I get up there, he's going to be able to get away I've from me. I've been looking forward to this. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. But he's raiding my land, and I can't even stop him from it. I can't catch him, and I feel like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get him. But the good news is... So we've got stable corruption. 20 from them? Jeez.
I have so much reduction and it's just not enough. I have six in reduction just followers on one of my wizards. I've got tons on my witch hunter from various skills and it's just not working out. Can I get a trade agreement out of you? There we go. I'm not going to go to war with Midinland. I already figured that out. Not aggression with Karakurn? Sure. I'm not going to go to war with dwarves on purpose. There's really no point. The money that I might want, I can secure from uh, people up north. There we go. We get another corruption acolyte. And it's still not enough uh, to stem the tide of ridiculousness. We're going to break that one in Templehof down. You don't need two in a zone. And just like that, we've gotten a ton of trade goods. However, we're also totally exposed. I fucked up. I let him get behind me. He's just going to be able to go in and attack Gorsal. Oh, no, he's not. That's right. I built a wall. Ha! Fuck you, little dude. And, uh... We're going to finally be able to take that rally point with the Emperor, and we're going to just go and try to assassinate. Nope, I'm too broke to try to kill somebody. I'm too broke to uh, colonize Everheim. I'm going to do nothing. I feel like I want another witch hunter to try to deal with characters. And all of these non-aggression packs, all of this is like, uh, a lot of people are now so spooked by chaos being around that they're basically just trying to do anything to make it so that they won't uh, be destroyed. I sympathize. This will bolster the nation. And the way we're expanding here could uh, make it so people will not be fans of ours. Uh, you have what's called the Great Power Penalty, uh, and, well, it sucks. It just makes it so that the more stuff you have, the more upset your foes are with you for being cool and rich. They get really jealous. And you get a diplomatic penalty because of it. Like, right now I have a negative 20 because of my power. Of We're going Empire. to get military access. There we go. I will listen. Let us. Surely an agreement will be reached. Whichever woeful deity protects you, it ends here. We'll spill your blood. Alright, so we get a treaty with them. They're probably going to break it really soon, but it gets us a little bit of money, and it gets them off my back, which is what it's really about, because I don't want to have to deal with them right now. Can't afford another, or can't get another witch hunter. Would need another uh, sweet witch hunter building. One of those uh, Temple of Sigmar sort of things. Yes, the temple. Now the question is just really, do I build gates? I don't think I build a gate at Wissenberg, but Faldorf probably could use one. Rupert is uh, gonna level up soon. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be uh, three Empire Captains at that max level.
Like, if they're raiding my lands right now, I just want to fucking kill them again. But can I even win a fight against him? Maybe not. Maybe not. Do I just have to let him raid me because I suck at the game? Maybe. It's not a very strong army. It's, uh, it's a defensive army. It's not an offensive army. It's not meant to go and engage people in the field. It's meant to, you know, have a good time. And just make sure that you can intimidate people like lesser beastmen and that sort of thing. Do I move for Grunstadt or do I go to reinforce over there? I think I just move for Grunstadt. Just get the coverage on the entirety of the south here. And uh, it could be at some point in the future when uh, my friends get in some trouble up here that I could be able to potentially push them into a confederation or a vassal sort of situation. But I think what we want to do now is just uh, keep on solidifying keep on getting the economy going to the extent that we can. Now I'm going to build that tap room because I've been putting it off for too long anyway. And oh wow, this video has been like an hour. I keep saying, you know, 15, 30 minutes ago that I was, should have ended it, but haven't done so yet. So if you're still around, I'll be terribly surprised. I don't think anybody's watching these at all. But, you know, they'll be on the internet forever, so someday somebody might want to. We get two more plus three uh, vampire reduction followers, which is fantastic. And we actually have quite a lot of swords laying around. But the Tormentor Sword is a really good ability. It gives them negative 34 attack and they can't move, so definitely going to be happy to have Franz have that. And even with all of these Light College Acolytes, I still cannot make a dent. And the amazing corruption. But we're going to try to kill Varsar von Karstein. We fail. Uh, that's going to let him know that we're quite serious about having this war. <laughs> As we just sent a Witch Hunter up to try and shank him. And we're not even going to say sorry, because we're not. Oh no, our wizard got hurt trying to fight somebody. I was trying to be too cute and send off people who aren't assassins to do assassins jobs and everybody's failing. All right, we have one success at least. Man, I can't believe that stupid wizard. How could he be so bad at killing? I thought that was like what wizards did, was just kill people in order to progress. Man, all right, well, on one hand, I'm now making more money and I have uh, better coverage of lands and stuff. But on the other hand, I still feel like that war was a total failure. Now it wasn't. It really wasn't. But I just didn't complete the last of the objectives. And we're not going to be able to get this corruption down. I keep killing guys I've got. So many... Well, no, Franz isn't in there, is he? No, he's here. So 
So it's like I'm not quite able to knock down the corruption because I don't want to put both of my uh, armies in one province, but... But yeah, that's, even that just brings it to parody. Man, what a fucking headache. But I guess that's the thing. I, uh, I guess that's why vampires are annoying. Greetings, country. Well, after me just like fucking rambling on and not knowing what I'm doing here for a long time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Gonna embed up and the nation calls. Keep on killing more dudes. That's finally enough to give us a little bit of uh, movement in the needle. But it's the Arch Lecture that we need. Yep, and that'll stabilize here while we're able to get slight reduction there. Yeah, we'll just have to keep on trying to kill more, uh, more of them. That's the only way. I wish I had someone to deal with this uh, jackass chaos warrior that's scouting my main, but I don't. I don't at all. The one sauce I have is that I know that there are still a few uh, of the northern tribes here at Kislev and so on that are alive, but of course this uh, very far north has already fallen, which means they're not really far behind because Essen is just a hop, skip, and a jump here from the north. Which means... It means I either have to tech up my armies now. Or I turtle for a little bit, try to get 30 or 40k up, boost the armies, try to take down the vamps. Man, terrible spot. Well, anyway, as I've said, I'm going to end this video now. It's been going on way too long. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Total Warhammer. Although I don't know how you could.